I did a video where I showed a little PC board Yagi, and uh, a lot of people asked me, why don't you design your own? So um, I kind of pushed back on it because I can't, I can't really measure um, gain of an antenna or radiation pattern of an antenna, but I can measure S11. But anyway, I thought I would try it anyway because I thought I had some ideas. So here you go. Um, I'm using uh, Easy Neck, um, and I've created a little uh, five-element Yagi, one reflector and three directors, and uh, <clears throat> gives you a, a, a plot that looks something like this. Um, and so it has a gain of uh, nine and a half dBi, um, and uh, yeah, so it's got mostly a forward lobe on it. So. Uh, one of the interesting things about designing uh, antennas is that you can specify the diameter of the wire that you're going to use. And the diameter of the wire accounts for the circumference, but in a PC board, it's just double the width, I guess. So you have to sort of figure out, well, how... Uh, how wide should I actually design it for, for a PC board? Um, so I've gone from two millimeters to five millimeters. That should broaden the, um, the bandwidth of it, but shouldn't really change anything else. Um, so yeah, so here you see that it, it does modify things by, by changing that parameter. Um, so this, this has a gain of 10.4. Maybe that's maybe that's better. I don't know. You can do an SWR run on it, and uh, you can see that it has a, a dip here around two point two point three four. It really should be up around two point the other the other one two point five four. So let's go back to the original design. Um, go back to wires. I'll put them back to uh, two millimeters each. Oops. And we'll run the SWR again. And there you go. So this is my original design. And I have the uh, resonant frequency right here at 2.54 megahertz, um, which is great. And it's got a SWR of 1.15. So it looks all good. And again, we could do a... Um, Let's see here. What else can we do? Uh, we can do a different plot. Where's the plot type? Uh, plot type here. <clears throat> and you can see that we have a, a, a lobe out in the front, a couple little lobes in the back. Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, so the next step would be how do I prototype this thing instead of just laying out a PC board? So I had an idea for that. Uh, so I designed this 3D uh, pick piece here for my 3D printer. Uh, let's pop that down here. So, so this is what it's going to look like. It's just some, it's a frame, right? And uh, I'm going to slice it, get rid of those. So it's a frame, and then I'm going to cover these lengths here with copper tape. And so I just cut it to length so all the copper tape fits in here. And it should be a, uh, I can't see the bottom. Oh, yeah, I can't see the bottom of it. Uh, it'll just be a Yagi antenna. It's kind of holds it in, holds it into free space. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's print this thing and put some copper tape on it and uh, go take a look at what it looks like. All right, so here is the frame that I've made 3D printed and I put on some, uh, using copper tape, I've uh, scored some strips of copper tape and I've wrapped them around these, uh, the frame that I made here out of uh, plastic and I've attached a feed point to the, the, uh, uh, the radiating element here in the center of the dipole. And um, so, I don't think I would build this again. I don't think it's, it's not, it's fragile. 
It's a little bit difficult to work with. It's it's hard to get this feed point without without um, disturbing things too much. The PLA isn't heat, uh, you know, it's not good with, with heat. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I would do this differently, but I think for what I need it for, it's exactly that. It, it holds all the, uh, the elements in the correct spacing. And um, what I've done is I've uh, used the VNA. I'll, I'll show some pictures here. Um, I, sh I, I hooked it up and uh, although it seems to have a pretty good match, uh, the elements were a bit too long in order to get to 2.45 gigahertz. And so I've shortened, uh, I've shortened the dipole. Where's my ruler? I've shortened the dipole by about, yeah, no more, maybe a, maybe a millimeter and a half on both sides. And I shortened up the first director a little bit. And uh, yeah, that seems to pull it into the frequency that I want. Um, so if I take this design and I lay out a PC board, will it act the same way? That's going to be a big, big question mark. Um, and I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think we just need to bite the bullet and uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and have some PC boards made and see if we get lucky. Here's a little bit closer picture here. You can see my feed point. It's just uh, not very, not very robust, but uh, uh, the coax comes in and the center connects to the left half and the, the braid connects to the right half. And all of the uh, copper tape is a three quarter wrap. Uh, it doesn't go all the way around. It goes like three quarters of the way around. Um, and yeah. Trying to mimic, trying to mimic what the PC board will be like. Um, so I think, I think the next thing to do is, uh, yeah, let's go lay out a PC board and uh, send this thing off. <laughs>